needle that one, put a cotton on it, put an iodine bottle, and went in there. And go right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> yeah. Just makes me go through this. I can still feel that. Oh, that's your Didn't you have a tickle in your throat? Yeah. 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 I can remember that same thing happened to Elmo Swanson. We were playing together, you know, Bob and, and uh, Elmo and me and Vernon, I suppose. And Elmo stepped on a nail at our place and it went right through. Like that too. Oh gee. Oh gosh. I can see that nail yeah, like you Oh my gosh. We were always running barefoot. You know? Sure, we were always barefoot, you know, and there it was a like a it was always a spike nail, it wasn't a little one. It was always a great big thing. Stepped on to go through the foot like that. Come out on top. But I've never got infected or anything else, just healed up. <laughs> Oh, he burned everything all that I <laughs> No shots. <laughs> okay. They didn't have things like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They didn't have things like that. Uh -huh. Oh, no. That's for sure. <laughs> we were lucky you got to a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, didn't go to the doctor either, for God's sake. Oh, no. goodness, no. Good heavens. That so, didn't happen very often either. So did Gordy have any sicknesses or any accidents when he was young that you remember? He had a fool once in a while and two things. Well, he, they were on to a ball game one time down at Russell Park, and I know he caught a, a fly ball barehanded, and it took the one joint of his finger and bent yeah. it back. And he always did have a crooked finger mm. after that. Hmm. How old was he then? Oh, in his teens. Hmm. Yeah, before that, they didn't get, get that far away from home oh, until they were teens. He would have loved to play ball, you know, he was a play ball player. Yeah, he liked to hunt and trap and play ball and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sure loved softball. What about Lee? Yeah, gosh, thanks, we played ball, too. What about fishing when you were kids? Did you fish? Oh, we went to Dead Coon once in a while, Lake Benton. We had real fish them days, nice big perch and all that. Hmm. Well, they used to have a lot of perch in You bet, and nice yellow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were. They were oh, nice. They They're not there anymore. Well, all that chemicals went into the lake, and I think that... Mm -hmm. They filled the lake up with walleyes. Yeah, the walleyes eat all the little perch. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they eat the little perch. Mm -hmm. They should leave the walleyes out of these lakes. They don't belong mm -hmm. They don't belong down here. They're not native. They're, the perch are plenty good for us, for God's mm -hmm. sake. Steve, is there a good perch fish? And, perch and northerns are native down. Yeah, and I like perch. I do too. Yeah, I sure do. But they got to plant the walleyes in there. Yeah. They're as far as everything else. Yeah, our lakes are too shallow for them. We can leave them up north. Well, there's more depth. Were you in any uh, activities like 4-H or anything like that? I was that? in 4-H a few years. You were? Was Grandpa Gordy? Yeah. The Gordon didn't go much. Did he? He went, went for a while. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess he did for a while too. Yeah. You've got to correct me, you know. I can make a mistake. <laughs> well, I'm not perfect either. <laughs> so we were in 4-H for a number of years. Mainly so the guys could play ball, you know. And they had to have their project, of course. Projects. Mm -hmm. Usually corn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you <Usually> dad's corn. <laughs> <Your> dad's corn. <laughs> Walk out and pick out a few good ears. That's my corn. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nori did too. He got his corn went to the state fair one time, didn't mm -hmm. it? <coughs> I think so, I planted the first hybrid in the county. He was given some so sack, a little sack of feed from the University of Minnesota. Oh. Mm -hmm. I had plant. Mm -hmm. He's got a little medallion yet. I took a yeah, 4-H trip to go to the cities one time. 
and we got up there to a, we went to college or something for a day or two. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, we got out and we had to ride an airplane up there. Mm -hmm. That was a about a five passenger plane. You'd slide the windows like this. Cabin plane. Mm -hmm. It was a well, it was just a really simple airplane. Yeah, I'm sure it was. We flew around over the cities, and I thought this ain't so bad. And then I shot off. <laughs> <laughs> that took care of you with it. I think it was that was pretty nice. <coughs> I think it cost us two and a half dollars for that ride. Oh, gee, that was a lot of money. It was. It hurt my pocketbook to beat everything. <laughs> so, do you remember? Oh, sorry, go ahead. That's the first airplane ride I had, and the last, second one was last spring. Huh. Quite a difference. My first one last spring. <laughs> oh. well, that was last spring. It's quite a difference in airplanes. <laughs> a little bit. Jeez. Yeah, a little bit, that's for sure. So was Gordy always interested in airplanes? Did he ever talk about airplanes? I didn't know that until he got in the service and got in that business. But he was always making uh, carving out airplanes when we went to country school. Was he? Oh, yes. Yeah. Would whittle them out, you know, with a lot of wood. Hmm. Thank you. Any of those still around? Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that stuff all got thrown. Moved. A long time ago, he moved too many times. Moved too many times. Uh, moved, moved, you know, and then little kid stuff would be the last thing they'd keep, their junk. So when you were real little, were there any special toys that you or Gordy ever had that you played with? Didn't have any yeah, toys. Yeah, probably didn't, didn't have, have any. any toys, didn't, really. didn't, didn't have toys, hardly. I did have a little train on a round track once. You did? Yeah. Oh. Not for Christmas one year. Oh, I tell you, we didn't get many toys. Mm -hmm. What about movies? Did you go to movies together? I remember silent movies, yeah. Silent? I went to one of them. One? Mm -hmm. One? Just one? Uh, my mom's brother Boyd came, stopped in one day, 1929. He fed her, she fed him good, you know. And he took her to all the movies. <laughs> well, that was pretty, that was, that was something. He put a silver dollar on the counter when he went in. He I bet it did. Oh, yes. oh, oh yeah. yeah. Because yeah, that's all it all cost was a silver dollar. Maybe the kids got in free. I don't know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, we always went on on Thursday night for family night and it cost forty cents to take the family, no matter what size but family. I was just a little kid that time. Mm -hmm. That's when the silent movies. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I, I can remember being in there for silent movies mm -hmm. too and I was I was real little. I don't think I've told this one to Marnie. And uh, I was so little that I was sitting on my mother's lap and I saw somebody had drinking a bottle of something. And I said, turned to my mother and I said, I want some beer! <laughs> <laughs> my mother could have killed me. <laughs> They always made their own homemade beer, you know. Yeah. And I was probably like three or four years old, you know. I wasn't very really old. I was just little, you know, and sitting on her lap. Well, I was old enough so I could read the, most of the printing underneath. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I can remember getting that old to read the printing, yeah. too, but this was before I could read yeah. that I was. 29, 21, I was born, I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read yeah. Good reader. Reader. yeah. Not all of it, but most of it. Yeah. So, Grandma, your parents made the homemade stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, my parents made made home homemade beer. Homemade mm -hmm. brew, yeah. We Everybody made, made brew. We all made mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> root beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they made root beer also. Mm -hmm. So the kids had something. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure did. Yeah, they always made 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 both. During harvest time, they generally made root beer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember having it year round. No, no. Mm -hmm. 
but I think they made the beer all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember the first airplane I ever saw. When I lived across from a family, I just lived, we used to be a place there. Yeah. And that valley down through there, here when this airplane was flying by, I could look right straight in the seat of in the cab. Oh, good gosh, I was flying pretty low. Yeah. Back in 1925. Oh, good gosh. Yeah, first airplane I ever saw. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Flying real low. Mm -hmm. uh, that was low. I don't it a, remember. It was a bi wing, you see the wheels hanging down. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like you see the pictures. I stood there and looked at that guy flying. I can't remember seeing an airplane back that in I the didn't. 20s. I can't either. Do you remember when Lindy flew across the, mm -hmm. the Atlantic? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was 1927, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I remember that because mm -hmm. that was such that big was news on the really radio. Big, on the radio. Big news. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. we heard on the radio when you landed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was big news on the radio. That's for sure it was. What kind of um, movies would you go see with Gordy? Did you ever go with with him? The movies. Uh huh. No? You're always our own ways. He chased one girl and I chased another one. <laughs> <laughs> Different directions. <laughs> Do you remember when Gordy had to leave school and uh, stay home and work? And what? When he had to leave school and stay home to work on the farm? Well, he, he didn't go through water. He went ninth grade. Yeah. I remember that right. Then there just wasn't any money so he quit and went to work. Yeah. What did he say? What did he think? He didn't say, he didn't say nothing. He, he acted like he didn't like school that time. Like most kids that age. So he was glad to be able to do something else? Fifteen at the farm. My dad was sick. My oldest brother had to graduate that year. So mm -hmm. That was me that I quit. Mm -hmm. I never learned anything since. So what did you think about quitting? Having uh, to, ha what did you think about having to quit? It didn't bother me that day. No? <laughs> <laughs> you did have to.